Hello boys, today's topic is limbering in Canada, that is lumberjack of Canada. Limbering is the harvesting of trees and production of timber for varied uses. Means in limbering, it includes the various activities that convert trees or timber into limber products. The workers engaged in limbering are called lumberjacks. Forests are a major source of Canada's wealth. Forests cover an area of over 4.2 square million kilometer of the land. The common softwood trees found in the Canadian forest are spruce, Douglas, fir, hemlock, cedar, pine and balsam. Timber is used in the manufacture of telegraph poles, railway sleepers, construction of houses, doors, windows and furnitures. Forests provide employment to 2,50,000 people. A wide variety of industries depend on trees. Canada leads the world in new sprint production and accounts for made than 50% of world exports. The sawmill industry is centered in the Canadian province of British Columbia. The provinces of Quebec and Ontario lead the country in pulp and paper production. Means British Columbia, Ontario and Quebec provinces are the leading producers of timber and are home for the lumberjack. Now lumbering season. Humans have utilized wood for thousands of years. However, the heaviness of timber and the dependence of manual tools for cutting and other lumbering activities prevented large scale lumbering. The early lumber industry really reeled heavily on water. Logs were floated down streams and rivers on sawmills which made also powered by large wooden wheels. The heavy trunks often got stuck and jams caused heavy damage to the riverbanks. With industrialization, the sawmills have been freed from their dependence on flowing water and they can operate throughout the year. Mechanization has increased the speed and efficiency of various lumbering operation. It has also reduced the dependence of this industry on the season. Winter is the season for the lumbering activities. When the sap from the trees stops to flow and the frozen ground makes the transportation easy. Now the lumber industry lumbering includes the various activities that convert tree or timber into the limber products other industries convert timber into the pulp and paper chemicals and fuel wood it can be divided into three main activities first is the logging industry second is the sawmill industry and third is panel industry each activity is a stage in the process of tree from the forest to its final lumber product now there are different types of methods of logging logging includes felling or cutting downs of trees cutting the timbers into the lens and transportation set into the sawmill it rank one of the hazard hazardous occupation in spite of technologies advanced which have provided reliable equipment now there are various steps in logging first is coming felling the tree to be cut is selected in a well-planned manner. The decision is made in the context of responsibility for maintaining the forest as an ongoing resort. The high riggers climb up to about 10 to 15 meters of the top of the tree. He wears spiked shoes and has safety belt connected him to the tree. He is equipped with a gasoline powered saw. As he climbs up the tree, he cuts any interfering branch when he reaches the top of the tree he cuts off the top of the tree he clings to the tree which swings dangerously as a result of looping when the tree is steady again he attaches cables and pulleys this enables them to control the direction in which the tree falls so as to minimize the damage of the other uh, surrounding trees 
and also for hauling. The tree is cut using power chainsaws. Mechanical fellers are now being widely used. They consist of large steel blades mounted on a vehicle which cut the tree at the stump which make like a pair of scissor cutter pair. Second is coming limbing. After the tree is brought to the ground, its branches are removed. This is known as limbing. In this, when the tree is fallen, then we cut, uh, we remove the branches from the trees. That method is known as limbing. Power saws are used for trimming of branches. Then the tree is sawed to bucked into log lengths. They are cut into approximately 5 meters length if they are to be sent to the sawmill to be made into the looper. If the logs are going to be the pulp mill, they are cut into about 1 meter lengths. Third step is coming skidding. The weight of the trees makes transportation very challenging. Logs are dragged and this is known as skidding. It involves the raising of one end of the log and dragging it along the ground. Early skidding relieved on the teams of horses, mules of ox or oxen. Today trucks and cables skidders have replaced animal skidding. After the tree has been trimmed, it is ready to be hauled and skidded out to the forest to the concentration point known as landing. This may be near the road, railway or the river bank. Fourth point is coming, hauling. Rivers are very useful in the transportation of logs. Logs are piled on the bank of the river. Sometimes they are piled on the river and they float downstream when the ice melts in the spring. The river currents carries the log downstreams. Lumberjacks follow them to make sure that they do not pile up when obstructions block their path. Sometimes logs do pile up at time. Hundreds of logs can pile up one of the top of another blocking of the river. When this happens, it takes the experience and the fitness of the lumberjacks to keep the logs moving. After the limbing, the trees are stopped and bucked in the log lens. The third step is responsible for the skidding and hauling the tree out to the forest. They may be used river, road or railway. Last is coming process, processing of lumber. Saw mills process the lumber and make them ready to, for the market. The following steps are involved. The log is first passed through a debarker which is a rotating rig which pressure plates that tier of the bark. Then debark log is placed on a steel carriage and circular saws placed above and below. The saw cuts the log into a triangular pieces of what's called a cant. The cant is sawed into the boards that are trimmed and edged to the desired lens and what's called board limber. The board limber is then sorted and grated. Then it is dried for season either in the open air or in kiln which is heated drying. All limber must be dried slowly and uniformly to prevent cracking and rapping. The process is known as seasoning. So in short, we can say that the first group is made of men who climb up the tree, cut off the tops and prepare them for felling. They wear spiked shoes and have safety belts connected them to the tree. They are known as high riggers. These riggers use power saws to cut off the top. Second team which is known as fellers, they cut down the trees using mechanical fellers. After the tree is brought to the ground, its branches are removed, that is known as limbing. After limbing, the tree is sawed or bugged into the logs. And the last, the third group is responsible for skidding or hauling the tree out the forest. They may use the river, road and railways. Now, life of lumberjacks. Lumberjacks in the past lived in camps throughout the year. They worked hard all the day, extreme weather and life-threatening conditions. The river drives in which loggers walked on the floating logs as they floated down the river, particularly dangerous. The harshness of the occupation and the hardiness of the lumberjacks made them legendary. They inspired many folk tales and storms. Industrialization has made the life of lumberjack easier than it was before. But it still involves a great deal of dangerous hard work and the ability to ensure. Lumberjacks live in a log houses 
which have steep sloping roof that allow snow to slide off. These houses have slightly raised floors to avoid contact with the cold frozen ground. A camp is set up with the bunk houses for the men to sleep in a cock house where meals are prepared, sheds for tractors, office, storehouses and repair shoes. Lumberjacks wake up early and have quick breakfast before dawn. Therefore, the work of felling trees begin followed by cutting of branches of the fallen trees, skidding, hauling. A tree of three, four lumberjacks can fell dozen of trees in a day. At sundown, they remain to the camp and eat their main meal of the day, after which they relax around the campfire, chanting, singing, playing cards or reading books. In the past, lumber camps were set up only in the winter. Now, settled communities of forest workers have developed. Also, these forests are more accessible now by plane, bus or even snowmobiles. The life of lumberjacks today is not as difficult as it was in the past because of the use of power driven saws, powered cranes and automobiles. Therefore, today, lumbering is a permanent activity. Now, recent developments, new techniques of lumbering and modern scientific machinery has reduced job related risk. The living conditions have also become more comfortable. Since forestry in Canada has been intensified, lumbering in many places now goes on all year around. Thus, the lumberjacks nowadays mostly live in a settled communities instead of moving from one lumber camp to another. And there is also a lot of support by government today. Forest fires are common in the taiga region and regular firefighting squads are maintained with the modern equipment. Since most of these forests are owned by the Canadian governments, logging and felling is strictly controlled. Forest management measures like conservation, replanting, preservation of young trees and protection against the diseases of pest or high standard. So, the Canadian government is adopting a systematic plan for replanting trees. This has a good impact on the life of lumberjacks. Now, lumbering is not a seasonal work. The whole process of planting and felling the trees provide them work throughout the year. The replanting and the reuse of forest areas and the continuous move towards the tree farming rather than the exploitation and industrialization have led to the development of settled communities of lumberjacks. Thus, lumbermen do not have to face the hardship of the past and the way, way of life has changed a lot. Thank you boys. This was the last topic, lumberjacks. After this, now we will do the exercises and short question answers in your copy. Thank you, boys.